In this video, I will show an example of an application of a normal distribution, that is, how to recognize, then set up, and solve a problem involving a normal distribution. First, let's read the problem. Here we have um, the distribution of scores of SAT exam is given to be normal, with a given mean and given st standard deviation. So first thing we have to do is introduce a random variable. So let's introduce x and let x be the SAT score of a randomly selected person. So what do we know about x? Uh, since x is coming from a normal distribution, x will have a normal distribution uh, itself. Uh, therefore, the question is now about what are the parameters of that normal distribution and they are given. The mean is 1059 and standard deviation is 210. So x will be a normal uh, random variable with mu 1059 and sigma equal to 210. Now once we introduced a random variable, uh, now we can have uh, a look at the questions. So the first question is to find the proportion of the test takers that scored more than 1000 on the exam. So let's try to convert this question into some mathematical expression. So what is the question asking? Proportion or probability? Um, test takers that scored well, the score of a test taker, we introduced a random variable to label just that. And now the question is more than a thousand. So it becomes very clear that the question in part A is to find the probability of X being greater than 1000. Uh, if we read the question in part B, what score should the admission board of some elite college choose as a cutoff so that only top 1% of test takers qualify for consideration. Um, here the question is about finding a value that divides the population into top 1 and bottom 99%. So basically we're looking for a 99th percentile which can be expressed with x.01 where zero, uh, 1 represents the one, uh, the top 1%. So these are the two questions, and we were able to convert uh, the original question into the question about a normal random variable. Therefore, now we can use all the knowledge that we have about uh, normal random variables. So to find the probability of x being greater than 1000, we are going to relate uh, this random variable to the standard normal random variable z by doing the following two steps. Uh, step one will be to subtract mu and divide by sigma both sides of the inequality and when we're doing this we're going to keep writing letters near letters and numbers near numbers that is we're going to write minus mu over sigma near x but we're actually going to subtract 1059 and divide by 210 on the right hand side. In the next step, we're going to replace x minus mu over sigma with z, and we're going to compute the expression on the right side of that inequality, which is negative 0 0.28. And now once we converted this question into the question about the standard normal variable, we can use all, all our knowledge about the standard normal variable. So to find the probability of z being greater than some number, we first are going to use the probability rule and to rewrite it as 1 minus probability of z being less than 0.28. And now we're finally ready to uh, look for the value in the table. So in the table we find the row corresponding to negative 0.2 and the column corresponding to 0 0.08. And in there we will see the value point. 38.97. So now we just need to subtract this number from 1 to get 
or 3. So to answer the question asked in part A, the proportion of the test takers that scored more than 1000 on the SAT exam is 61.03%. Now let's answer the question in part B. To find x.01 we're going to use the formula uh, x alpha is equal to mu plus z alpha, in our case alpha is 0 0.01 times uh, sigma. Mu is given, so mu is 1059, z we're going to find right now, and sigma is 210. So how do we find z.01. Uh, to find z.01 we're going to look for 1 minus alpha which is 0.99 in the table uh, or the number nearest to 0.99 and then we'll just simply read the numbers in the margin um, of the table. So these numbers are 2.3 and 0 0.03 therefore z.01 is 2.3 33 and that's the number that goes here so the only step left is to compute this expression and uh, 2.33 times 210 plus 1059 is equal to 1548.3 so to answer the question in part b uh, the admission board uh, has to choose 1548.3 or 1549 uh, as their cutoff and in that case only top 1% of test takers will qualify for consideration.